Hi guys, Dan Stollers here. Hope you all had a really nice weekend and Monday's not too much of a struggle for you all. So, another P.O. Box opening. What a start to the day. Nothing better than a P.O. Box opening from Terence Day. So then, you've sent in free half crown coins, which is amazing because I am trying to do the half crown date run. Also, a two shilling coin there that was equivalent to one florin. There's three old one penny coins. The oldest is from 1878. And that one's in quite nice quality as well, which is amazing. I will start a date run with the one pennies. So this will be an amazing start, especially with an 1878 coin. They are going to be super hard to try and find. Huge shout out to you for them. Then we've got two old five new pence coins. The first one on the left there, the first year that the five new pence was released, 1968. And the second one there from 1971. The 1968 coin there, cracking condition indeed. Then we've got two three pence coins, both with different designs. The most recent there, 1958, features the portcullis. Then we've got a six pence coin, a one shilling, and then we've got an amazing two pound coin here at the bottom. 1694 to 1994, Bank of England on the bottom of the coin, and there was just over one million of these ones actually made, so it is quite a rare two pound coin. Thank you so much, Terence Day, for that. That coin in itself definitely worth four to five pounds, and I will make a video on that one as well. Next one then, we've got the Endeavour 50 cents coin. That one from New Zealand. Then we've got three American coins below that. The first of three then, the one cent coin, this one from 2015. All American coins feature upside down reverses. Something that I would actually quite like to see on United Kingdom coins. After that then, we've got two quarters. The first one there, 1999, the second one, 1996, and the 1999 one there, Connecticut, 1788 at the top. This is such an amazing P.O. box opening and we're still going. After that then, we've got the Canadian 25 cents coin. After that, we've got the one penny coin. That one there featuring King Edward VIII. British West Africa 1936. Then we've got the New Zealand 10 cents coin. That one there featuring a really nice butterfly. There was also a note from Terence as well. We'll have a little look through all of the coins again just while I read it. So it says, to Dan, hope you like the coins. Please note that I've not cleaned any of them and you can make videos on how much they are worth. Maybe you could put them in your collection. That I certainly will do and I can't thank you enough. Hope you enjoy them. Happy birthday for the end of the month. They are a present from me. Cheers, Terence Day. Then it says, let me know if you like them. Of course, anyone is going to like this. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. I find it amazing when anyone just sends one coin in because that in itself is an amazing gesture. You sending all these in, I honestly can't thank you enough. Again, thank you for the happy birthday. It is going to be in lockdown, but we will make the most of it. And I definitely will be doing something on YouTube with you guys on the day as well. Thanks again, Terence Day. I can't thank you enough. If anyone else does want to send anything in, which would be incredible, comment your email address below and then we'll work out how you can get it to me. Hope everyone has a lovely day. This is a great start to my day. Hopefully this will bring some good luck with the coin hunts coming up as well. The Sir Isaac Newton giveaway is going to go up in a second. Quite a few of you hadn't seen the video, so I've just let it run an extra 12 hours or so, but the cutoff has been now. And like I say, that prize draw will be going up shortly. Good luck. Thanks again, Terence Day. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.